For anyone that hasn't come to my house, this is it. This is the very back. That's my parents' bus. This is this is Ollie's house right now. But we have a goat. And he sometimes comes when I call his name. I'll try. Kevin! <whistles> come on, Kevin! I hear the ducks in there. They might be. He doesn't always do it. Kevin! Come on, Kevin! It's also kind of dark, so he might be sleepy. Kevin! Yeah, I think he's ignoring me. Another time. Another time to meet Kevin. Just hold on. Hold on to the edge of your seat. I know you will. Hello! And welcome back to Ollie the Magic School Bus. It's been a while. I'm a busy gal. Oh gosh, Max. I'm a busy gal. I got work. I work at a bakery. We're getting married in a month. Literally 34 days. And I work at a bakery, so I gotta work out. Because I work at a bakery, and I gotta work off the bakery. So there's two things. I gotta plan a wedding. Gotta plan a honeymoon. Gotta build a bus. Gotta do my school. I'm a busy gal, okay? So, oh, in videos, trying to keep you people updated. What do you want me to do? So I'm doing what I can. This is an update video because I know you're waiting on part two for the door, but it's a three hour clip thing of just wood going through things and I don't have time for that right now. So I will get that one to you shortly, but right now I have a little update for you. Look at that. That's beautiful, first of all. So let's get to it. Also, first of all, just please subscribe. We need it, folks. Thanks. Okay, so I was thinking about how to do this video, and I think the helpful thing, since it's still an in-progress tour, we have a lot of work to go. 34 days. I've said that. 34 days. <laughs> but I think I'm going to say go through the tour, show the new stuff. Ow. Show the new stuff, and then say what I'm really loving and saying what I might have to change or not really recommend doing in your bus. Let's go. Alright, so walking. Oh, Max wants to say hi. Hi, Max. Hi, buddy. Up here. Can you say hi again? There he is. Hello. Hello, jumping Lee. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, he's not done. He says hi. <laughs> okay, so this is our door. I'm not going to show you it very much because that'll be in the door video. I think. I don't know if that was in the first one, but that is the wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> I um, we're at, we'll talk about that later. That you'll see that again. But here is our couch. We got this idea from some other guy. I'm not sure. We watched his video like 40 times trying to figure out how to do this, how to implement it. I will link his video down below because he has an actual tutorial. And I was not feeling doing a tutorial, having the time. Basically, oh, if I pull the ones that actually pull out, hold on. Let me set you down for this. All right, so this is our couch. It pulls out into a longer couch. We were gonna make it longer, but then your toes would be hanging in the shower and we didn't wanna do that. So we have it like this and then it pushes in and lifts up for a ton of extra storage down there. That might be where Noah sleeps or where Noah's clothes go. Stay tuned for that. I have little felt pads little felt pads underneath there so that when I slide it out it's not scratching our $40 floor that would be sad um, we just cut I think these were I think they were one by fours and we just trimmed them all so that they were nice and even and then we have this back that we did a little bit of a slant on so you're not sitting up in a church pew the whole time so that's just steady on there we have an armrest right there that is in the works and then we will have all of our little switches and our solar charge thingy that you see all that stuff. Watch the solar video. I don't remember it anymore. And this is a switch for our whole inverter. Um, I'm doing some homework in here. Or texting. Whatever that is. Both homework. Here is our kitchen. And kitchen. This countertop is literally huge. What? No way. That's half of our bus, but I need counter space in order to not blow up while I'm cooking. So, this is our stove. It is the Rec Pro on Amazon. I don't know. This is a smaller 18-inch one, but I am obsessed. Look at that. It folds up. So cute. And then 
voila. I didn't want to scratch it, so it's still with this. It has a whole oven for like half a pizza. Yum. And then you just put this little thing down. And yeah, and then you can use this as countertop. We have our sink that we got, did as an undermount. I don't know if it was an undermount or not, but we did it. And then got this little faucet. Also on Amazon, the new Amazon is our whole bus. We have a truck come once every single day, if not twice. That's how often. And this is the ship lap that I'm putting up. So it will be all the way up onto that corner, but I need some help with that little angle thing, at least for one side, because yeah, I need help. That's the other side will be on both sides. And then we also have it along the top here. And then we will also have it on this whole side of the pantry and then all the way down. So it'll be all the way up there. That's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but we found this tool on Amazon of all places that like snaps on there and then you put it on your board and trace it and then cut to that because this was an actual nightmare as you can see. So I will link that down below. I will show how we do that because I hope that saves us a ton of time. Also going out to the shower, <laughs> Max, he's not for sale, you can't have him. We have that board right there covering up that inner window part and then two pieces of shiplap up at the top, put up a little cricket, don't mind me. I'll have a shower curtain on most of the time. And then I just have to run through with some white caulk and finish that up. I did clear, but not loving it. So I'm gonna do some white. Moving on, we have our fridge and it runs. It's like cold in there, isn't that insane? So cool. We have our one huge cabinet. I'm gonna put a shelf or two in there. I just wanna make sure I have a ton of storage for like cooking stuff, my Instapot. Um, Probably a bunch of random stuff like clothes and whatnot. And then right here, we are working on a pull-out counter thing. So it has supports on the top and bottom that keep it from wobbling, and then it will just pull out. I'm planning on using that as my desk a lot of times. Um, we have our bed built. Our headboard is going to go here. Be built up a little bit and then flip open laundry right there. Um... Our inverter is also in the works. So what we did was our bus came with a little, well, like not a little, but a big air conditioning system that we had them separate from the driver AC. A little bit expensive, but I think it'll be worth it because then our driver AC works. Um, but we just used those U-channel bracket things um, to, to add this on. So that bottom bracket is what's holding up the brackets on the outside for that external unit. And then this is just a little Here facade. Here I said facade, but that's not really it at all. It is actually supported by those U channels and we have pocket screws going from that back um, part that the plate is connected to up into that support. And then we'll have a trim along that top to hide that ugly space um, and then right that there. That is the little plate that the split unit just pops right on. And that literally is it. That's amazing. And then it has these little, that's the drainage tube for the condensation and stuff. These are the refrigerant tubes that we had a person cut for us because I didn't want to deal with the flaring on that and mess up the thing, which was good because you need this to be a minimum of 12 or 16 feet, which we did not know. So do that. Otherwise you have to drain some of the refrigerant out of your inverter. And then we have them going through the bus. That was a little bit scary to see that all coming through. But let me go show you what it looks like on the outside. Outside, we just put that up today and I almost had a heart attack. That, that's a lot of money up there and it's just sitting on those two little brackets. Does not seem secure to me. Doesn't even have right bolts, but he was like, yeah, it's fine. Not fine. Look how dirty he is. But here is how those cords are coming through. And then it came with like this, honestly, it looks like explosives or something. I don't know, it's like this packet like this. It's white, and it's squishy. I think it's like a clay or modeling or something. We're gonna try and do that. Maybe get a grommet or something to fill up that so we don't have water pouring onto our bed. That'd be really nice. 
But see how that's just sitting on there? That cannot be safe. Don't worry, we're not moving all of her. But this is like 60, 40, something like that pounds. These are, I think, 200 pound brackets, so it shouldn't fall. We're also gonna get like a strap. Hold on, I'll back up. Like a strap and find a spot on that front and wrap it around and weld it on the back. Mats. Maxie, show me your trick. Sit. Bang. 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 Oh. Really? Piss poor performance. So yes, that is our split unit. And coming to the back, we have this little lock on our back. We had a big hold time with this. You can watch the lock video if you want more. It goes like that. This goes down. Stops this from pulling up. It's a grand thing. Grand thing. Um, and then we have the ladder that I put up and am scared to go on. Because I'm scared of heights. Literally cannot even get up to that rung. It sat outside for a couple of days and those rusted, so that's really great. Love that. Um, I'm probably going to spray paint them black after I scrub off the rust. These are both new additions. This is the plug that will charge the charger, which is for the solar stuff over there. So if we plug it in there, it will charge up all of our batteries for usable power. Then we have our water heater. It's the Fogati Rec Pro one, just a standard Rec Pro one that we put in there. It's not hooked up yet, but drilling or cutting the hole in the bus was a whole ordeal that we were kind of scared to do, so we just had to do it and get it done. Obviously not perfect, but we wanted to keep those ridges for protection and stability. Coming over here, we have our gray water tank. I think it has a new U channel up there that that is bolted into and then something else has to get added to it yet. I'm not positive, but stay tuned because that's not done yet either. And it's right below our shower and our kitchen sink so they can both drain into there straight down without having too many problems. And then some things that I forgot. And I think there's just a couple more things. We have this handy little cabinet. We didn't want to undo all this because I'm kind of tall and I was going to bump my head if we removed that. Not to mention my dad when he's working on it. He already has a whole bunch of scratches. <laughs> this, we're going to have something that goes up around so all of our stuff doesn't fall into that deep dark abyss. Um... Then we have our outlets. We added a couple outlets. That's very exciting. So the TV and PS5 is going to go up here. That takes up like half of this thing because we didn't want to buy a new TV. So we're just using Noah's old one. So that TV is going to be over here. This is going to be a whole closed off cabinet. Like this, like a whole flip up situation. And then I might just leave this half open for some decorations or towels or something that's not ugly. I'm not sure. We'll see. And then if you saw the last video, our pantry was still kind of wobbly. It still needs trim yet, but we got it to pull out smoother. So that's fun. Cool, crazy, exciting. Um, and I guess just what's happening with these cabinets, this will be one door on here, a drawer down there, another um, cupboard over there. Do that before you put it in. I painted this one when it was out, this one when it was in, and that little thing, we had to cut the paintbrush in half to get it, actually get in there. I had to paint all over the place. Don't do that. But that is the update. All right. For the part you've all maybe been waiting for. Who knows? Just, if you're watching, good job. Thank you. Some things that I don't like about our bus. One, the stairway. I should have listened to my grandpa. He was right, I was wrong. I should have done wood on the back. This wallpaper is not holding up and it's only been up like 
two months maybe maybe um it was put on like this raw metal stuff and it's looking a little little a little wibbly wobbly a little uh, peely it's all brown it used to be cream from how muddy it's been over here not loving it um also our little well i'll show you this look at that look that's just not not the move also these little creases in there not the move these things i should have gotten the nail in ones but I was worried with the subfloor being right there. Not the subfloor, but the metal. There's like a little piece of metal underneath that subfloor. I don't know. I should have gotten the nail ones because these are just the adhesive on the top. And it's feeling... See that? Kind of wiggly. Oh my gosh! I literally forgot! I absolutely love our kitchen. This... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on here. I need to... <laughs> I cannot, with this combination right here, we're going to have a little half wall, and then a half wall, full wall for that part, whatever that is, with a white right there. The white with this butcher block countertop, I freaking love it. It's super smooth. I did, I sanded it first, then I put on polyurethane, I just did polyurethane, and did like, sanded in between every, it was super light sandpaper. I think I did five coats on it, it took a little bit. But I love how it came out. It's super smooth. My grandpa made these. So that's awesome. That's so cute. We made this one too. I did the same thing with that. We had a little bit of a situation with how thin this countertop right here is this thin. That's right thin. So this peaks actually cracked off like twice when you're trying to get it in and get it all set and stuff. But you can't even tell now. And I think it's just gorgeous. I love it. Love it! Another thing that I'm loving are our lights. I don't think I showed you those because they're back here on this little switch temporarily. Oh, that was really bright. But we put them on the back of our ship lap so you can't even see them. We're going to have one section on a switch up until there in that kitchen, another one on the other side of the kitchen, and then one for this back bedroom area. They're a little bit bright, so we have a dimmer switch just so you don't wake up with that blasting in your eyes. If we have, like, all of the blackout curtains and everything on, that might be a lot. Um, and then I also am really hopeful for all of the space that we have below our bed. We're going to have a garage area probably, like, even with that. And then we're going to have huge dresser drawers that pull out the other way, obviously. So you can get in them and I'm super hopeful for that. We'll have a ton of storage with that. And as far as that, that is all that I'm at right now. We will see more when it's done. Thank you for watching this video. We will try our best to make more. It probably won't be super consistent, but thank you to all of our subscribers. Thanks for watching and I love y'all. See ya.